Uh, good morning and welcome to the Tuesday 9th County Commission meeting. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Just a reminder to silence your cell phones. The meeting documents for today are available for review next to Commissioner Bender. Uh, if you need a listening device, Robert would be able to help you with that. With that, we'll start with routine business. The first item is to consider a motion to approve <coughs> the agenda. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to, con to approve the agenda. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Oppose nay. Motion <coughs> unanimously passes. Item two is to approve the county commission minutes from September 2nd. So moved. Second. The motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion unanimously passes. Item three is bills to be paid of a million eighty-five thousand six hundred and eighty-one dollars and seventy cents. Pay the bills. Thank you. Is there a second. second? We have a motion and a second to approve the bills. Any questions or comments, Commissioner Barr? Fair, I didn't uh, break it down, uh, all the items, but there's a large uh, number of bills for the highway department, which uh, put that up quite a bit. Thank you, any other comments? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion unanimously passes. Uh, reports, we have the Minneapolis County Sheriff's Report for July. Personnel actions, uh, consider a motion to approve the routine personnel actions. Carrie Deaver, or is there a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments, questions? If not, uh, we would, uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose, nay, motion unanimously passes. There's no applications for abatement, no notices or requests. No planning and zoning notices, no petition for compromise. So we're to the opportunity for public <laughs> comment, if I can get my paper to quit sticking. If anybody has any comments on a subject not related to the agenda, and no one's moving, we'll go right to regular business. At 9 a.m., we have a public hearing to consider the application for special event on-sale liquor license for all occasions by Hy-Vee on September 24th and October 25th, 1st. Uh, have any comments, Olivia? Um, we haven't had any objections for them, so I'd suggest approving it. Okay. Motion any? to approve. Second. I should have asked the audience if there's any uh, input because it's a public hearing and there obviously is not so we have a motion and a second to approve all those in favor say aye aye those opposed motion unanimously passes item 11 is to consider a motion to appoint four candidates to the minnie county surplus property appraisal board mr litz bob litz from the auditor's office and uh uh, I'd like you to uh, approve the following members of the appraisal board, Ken McFarland, uh, Richard Calamine, Connie Malone, and Kyle Helseth, in the event that we need them for an upcoming tax deed sale. Uh, there's four people listed there. Uh, probably only going to need three. They might want to all go out. We don't know. Uh, it looks like an interesting tax deed sale if everything comes to fruition. I, there's a possibility of a strong possibility of having one house, full-on house, uh, and then there's three more that, uh, you know, are, are being uh, are winding their way through the process right now. So we could have a big sale or we could have a, a one house on there. We don't know, but I'd, in anticipation of that coming up, I just wanted to get the board appointed in advance. Thank you, Bob. Any uh, comments for Mr. Litz? Mr. Chair? Yes, sir. It's an illustrious list, uh, but I'll make a motion to approve the names that uh, our auditor has suggested. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the four candidates. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion unanimously passes. Item 12 is to consider a motion to approve the proposed DRC budget and authorize the chair to sign an agreement between Minneapolis County and LSS to provide evening report center program services. Good morning, Good morning Commission. Uh, you have in front of you a contract to begin services in September for the Evening Report Center. 
This is a program we've been having in place for about the four last four years, and it's just been on a little hiatus with the transition to the new service provider. So we're looking at getting this back up and going. It's already in the budget. Uh, they gave us a really uh, they gave us a really good program proposal, and we're really looking forward to getting it started. It's a program that picks up kids after school, has programming for them. Um, feeds them, they do activities, they help get them jobs, and then they drop them back off at home. So it, it takes kids and puts them in some positive activities and usually has pretty good outcomes. I know our, our juvenile judge and other juvenile justice professionals are excited to have this available again. Thank you, Aaron. Does anyone have any questions? Commissioner Bender, I believe, first. Aaron, I'm just curious, is when when will this be up and running if this gets Our, approved? We're shooting for the first day of school. That's so like September 6th or 7th. Uh, they do. They wanted to wait for our contract to be signed before they began the hiring process. So as soon as it's signed, I'll, um, if we get it approved today, I can email Sheila and LSS and have them get started on the hiring process. But we're hopeful that we'll start that first week of September. Thank you. Commissioner Kelly? Um, How does this compare in cost to the previous contract? It comes in right at the same cost. Other questions? If not, is there a motion to approve the contract? So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion unanimously passes. Thanks, Thank Aaron. you. Uh, item 13 is to consider a motion to authorize the chairman and the director of emergency management to sign the state and local agreement between Minnehaha County and the state of South Dakota for County Emergency Management, Mr. DeYoung. Uh, good morning, Commissioners. Lynn DeYoung, Emergency Management. Um, this is the annual state and local agreement grant that we have with the state of South Dakota. If you recall, uh, the state sends us a work plan. Uh, we work on those items uh, with the state of South Dakota. And then for that, uh, services and the other emergency management services uh, that we provide or work with within the county, they uh, pay for 50% of salary and administrative expenses within the office for the empl three employees and then other items that uh, we have that are eligible as approved by the authorized equipment list. Um, as you know, uh, the state's been uh, changing some of their financial um, practices. Uh, this year they created SDL or South Dakota 156. It's a board of internal, internal control. And then they also uh, created 12745. Both of those have to do with inter internal controls within the state of South Dakota. And as a result of us being a sub-grantee, uh, we'll be managed uh, somewhat by those, not a ton because it's more of uh, on the state side. Uh, but we also have to complete what's called a risk analysis this year. Um, that was attached in the documentation. So uh, the other thing um, that I anticipate is even though you see the items in front of you is uh, typically the state will add different financial controls um, probably through the year as they go through the learning process uh, that's been created by the legislature. Uh, both of those or all of those things uh, I don't anticipate will have any difficulty uh, doing. Uh, Auditor Litz uh, and his staff and I have already talked about the, the additional financial controls and documents that uh, are there and we don't anticipate any problems. So um, I'd be happy to answer any questions but I'd request the uh, Commission authorize the signatures for entering into this agreement. Thank you, Lynn. Anyone have any questions for him? I have a question. Uh, uh, Lynn, are they uh, increasing the amount of uh, oversight and paperwork and regulation based on malfeasance and other operations around the state? Is this your perception of? Yeah, I mean, I think we're seeing uh, um, the controls that we're seeing or the, the additional requirements for financial accountability or as a direct result of other things going on in state government. Um, we're seeing a trickle down in all sorts of grants. Um, here we've got a great staff to work with, both internal of my office and uh, downstairs with the, the office and the auditors, uh, downstairs in the auditor's office. So, you know, we can do that work. Uh, the question or the concern that I always bring up to the state is um, other counties aren't as fortunate because of size of population. Some of the emergency managers out there um, are only 50% uh, time, so by them, uh, by the state creating additional requirements, um, 
maybe those counties aren't el eligible or aren't able to comply because the amount of time that they have. So net effect is, is they'll have less of a program than what they should because of the controls that they're Im implementing instead of um, some of the other counties. And therefore, uh, they'll lose the dollars that could be used for in their county, and those dollars are coming to Minnehaha County or to Pennington County or Brown County. So um, uh, I do see additional, like I said, controls coming out as a result of uh, the things we've all been hearing in the, the legislative process and other state uh, parts of government over the last couple of years. So, Mr. Chairman, if I could just follow on with a comment. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've seen this actually going on in, in other areas. You know, we all know about small banks having trouble keeping up with the federal regulations. Uh, I've seen it happen with labor unions, which, you know, if there's eight members, they have to merge with somebody else because the paperwork is such that nobody there can do it. And I think when I was on the Homeless Advisory Board, there was a, a federal grant that they got which uh, insisted that some uh, survey be done which actually used the entire amount of the, the grant, and so no services actually could be provided to people. Uh, and so as, you know, uh, we all complained about uh, regulation and stuff, of course we see what happens when there is no regulation. Uh, uh, things go horribly awry, but uh, I think in emergency management we're seeing uh, the penalties, I guess, for some of the other programs in the state that have gone badly. And with that comment, I'll make a motion to approve. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. <coughs> Any other comments or questions? If not, those signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion unanimously passes. Um, item 14 is to consider a motion to authorize the emergency manager management director to sign a sub -recipi recipient grant agreement between Minneapolis County and the South Dakota Department of Health to act as a fiduciary agent for management of Region 3 South Dakota Hospital Preparedness Program funds. Good morning, commissioners. <laughs> Wonderful acronym. Yeah, there's a lot there. Uh, there's a mouthful. But uh, this is the second year we've done uh, this as a county, so it's a still a little bit of a learning process. But uh, the state of uh, South Dakota Department of Health has uh, regionalized their health care um, healthcare partners into different uh, different collections of counties and hospitals. Um, the southeast uh, area goes all the way from down to Vermilion up to um, up into the Castlewood area, so it's a pretty large geographic area on I-29. Uh, they need a fiduciary agent, and uh, once again, the city of Sioux Falls used to perform this function, but their, um, their county process has changed, so uh, the state and the region asked Minneapolis County to start performing this. So last year we per did this, and uh, obviously, once again, uh, with a great staff at my office and down at the auditor's office, we've had no complaints from either the hospital coalition or the state of South Dakota or the legislative audit component uh, at the end. So this year's uh, grant amount is uh, 75125 There's a 10% administrative fee that Minneapolis County has used in the last uh, that Minneapolis County captures in the last two years. And then the remaining dollars, uh, part of it will go to, <coughs> excuse me, part of it will go to the uh, coalition hires a contractor to work on different planning uh, projects with them. So there'll be a uh, contractor agreement that I'll sign uh, pending the approval of this document. And then they also work on different uh, projects for purchase of equipment for evacuation and other hospital uh, emergency response needs and then there'll be some training. That group puts this uh, budget all together and once again like I said once we get that budget uh, Minneapolis County just acts as a fiduciary agent uh, cutting the checks making sure that they're done in accordance with standard financial procedures uh, through the auditor's office and my office. So uh, for the second year in a row um, I'd uh, request the Commission to authorize the Emergency Management uh, Director to enter into both of those agreements and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Any questions for Lynn, Commissioner Bender? Lynn, I'm just curious if you have any feel for whether the amount that we receive to cover the overhead um, related to administering these adequately um, covers the services that we provide. Yep, um, I'll tell you, we really have a great partnership with the uh, folks that uh, manage the hospital coalition. Um, Sandy Friends from the City of Sioux Falls Health Department, uh, you know, does a ton of work on this. Um, 
because once again they had it or she managed it the last couple of years so for our part um, we are being rewarded well for our, the amount of work that we do okay thank you other questions move to approve second we have a motion and a second I have just a quick question do the hospital associations or the hospitals themselves talk about any kind of duplication with their J JACO requirements of I mean that is a huge project extensive and it tests every piece yep. of the hospital operation yep so their joint accreditation JACO um, their accreditation service that comes in and I think it's I forget exactly what timeline they're on, but both or all the hospitals are accredited by JACO. Uh, what happens um, as new and emerging uh, things are developing, whether it's Zika or smallpox or Ebola, a lot of this grant is used to purchase funds that they may not have in their budget or purchase equipment that they may not have in their uh, budgets, uh, evacuation equipment and isolation equipment, PPE. Um, some of those things on uh, you know the last couple years uh, maybe some security training with active shooters so all of those things uh, from this grant which doesn't seem like a lot but it enhances their local ability um, to respond to what Jayco is seeing out there for additional requests and everything so we talk extensively um, on some of our meetings about what Jayco's uh, asking them to do as an accreditation agency uh, the money and how these dollars can be transitioned into helping them get their policies, procedures, equipment, and training up so that they can continue to receive high marks from JCO. So um, it does go hand in hand uh, with them out there. And like I said, it's not everything, but it, it does help with their JCO accreditation process. So did I answer your question? <laughs> uh kind of but okay that's okay yep uh, and remember i'm not a, an exact expert because no, we're just a fiduciary uh, but like i said we do talk about it um and everything and there is some du duplication but um it's good duplication at this point so okay any other questions we have a motion and a second to approve the grant all those in favor say aye aye, aye. oppose nay motion unanimously passes thank you uh, item B is to sign an, a consulting agreement with the city's consulting to provide partnership development and technical assistance to Region 3 South Dakota Hospital Preparedness Response Partners. So that one, uh, um, there will be commissioners a sub grant, or excuse me, a uh, consultant agreement. It should be from Clites Consulting. Uh, once again, she works with that group. Uh, she has for the last three years. Um, they do all of the documentation, but because we're the fiduciary agent and we issue the checks, um, I'll need to be authorized to enter into that agreement with Clites Consulting. Okay. Make a motion to approve. Second, with a comment. Motion and a second, Mr. Barth. You know, Lynn here really is a, uh, an asset to the whole region here and has been for my whole time here as a county commissioner. You know, the, the amount of grant applications and funding that he's able to find benefits uh, everything in this uh, multi-county area. And, uh, uh, you know, he's a great asset to our county. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And like I said, it's it's uh, um, a job that I couldn't do with the folks downstairs and across town. So thank you. You're getting to spend most of your time as a grant writer rather than an EM. Uh, you know, a lot of the things go together, and it's a manager. Um, we're working on a great project right now with our rural EMS folks that Jeff uh, uh, might uh, discuss. I will discuss that at a future date. But um, sometimes it's just, you know, and uh, knowing the right people as a result of tenure in the position and having a, a good argument for the uh, items that we're seeking so thank you thank you uh item 15 as many a county commission liaison did we assignment. vote on that did, didn't we? Okay. did we i don't think so we, if you didn't think so i'm going too fast <laughs> we have a motion and a second to approve the contract all those in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed motion unanimously passes Thank you for reminding me. Uh, item 15 is Minneapolis County Commission liaison reports. Are there any reports? Commissioner Bender? I just want to give an update on the focus group that we had formed for the GL project. Um, we collected questions from all the participants. They were due last Friday. 
Um, we got a pretty good list, and you know we're looking for some more if people have. But people have been very thoughtful about the process. Um, we'll be meeting later this week to um, try to put together staff answers to that, and then we have a follow-up meeting next Tuesday where we'll spend time um, kind of going over and vetting all the questions that the different community members bring forward. Um, I think all of us have been getting updates on jail numbers and have seen that um, the trend line continues to go up and that, that um, you know, we, we clearly have numbers between this, the CCC and the jail on the weekends that are troubling and, and so um, we're going to need to keep working on this problem and, and try to figure out a, a solution that makes sense for, um, for the ca county and the staff and the taxpayers. So, Thank you. Any other liaison reports? If not, we'll go to item 16, new business. Uh, Commissioner. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm you know, preventing us from getting done in record time here. <laughs> um, I just, two things. One is uh, a fellow outside the building wanted me to uh, comment that uh, he's hearing from county employees that they're not allowed to sign petitions and uh, that's uh, not the case, but uh, he wanted, he, in lieu of him coming up to speak, I told him I would mention it. Um, and then I would uh, say that I went to a briefing here, just, uh, which is on the F-35, and that, uh, you know, although it, the time isn't quite right for us to take action and write a, uh, uh, our legislators, our new president, whoever, uh, we should keep it in the back of our mind that uh, we uh, should be advocates one way or the other as we continue to study this issue. I believe we all had chances to attend those meetings, so I think we're all up to speed on that. <coughs> Mr. Litz, you have a um, comment? You know, concerning the comments about uh, people or county employees not signing petitions, it's true you don't have to, but in our office, uh, uh, we do advise everybody that's in the auditor's office not to sign a petition. If they go and do it, there's no consequences to that, but uh, we just generally try to stay neutral down there on the topics. Thank you. Any other new business items? If not, is there any old business? I move With we go into executive session for potential litigation personnel and contract negotiations. Second. We have a motion and a second to go into exec session for the items listed. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. Motion unanimously passes. Is that clock?